Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create database in MySQL or MariaDB using terminal or command prompt. Create table and define columns, table columns, insert values, update it, delete it and read from it. So everything like CRUD operation from terminal or using this command prompt so let's get started here you can see this is my terminal and i have my xmp running that has mariadb but as i told you the commands are going to be seen for mysql and mariadb on all the platforms windows mac and linux so go ahead and log into your mysql server so i'm going to use mysql underscore sorry hyphen u and then the name of the user and then password in my case i do not have any password for it and as soon as i hit enter i'm in mariadb you if you're using mysql you will be in mysql so you can see this is mariadb and i can go ahead and Check the databases what databases i have so i've got few databases here one thing that you must remember is that mariadb or mysql or sql is not a case sensitive language so you can type commands and queries in uppercase in lowercase does not matter the only thing you have to take care of is that you have to end every command and queries with semicolon that you can see here up on the top okay so let's go ahead and have a look at this demo db that i have created here so to use or to change the database we simply use use uh, and then we say database name so that's going to be demo db semicolon and you can see it says database changed so if you want to check all the if you want to view or see all the tables in this database we can go ahead and say so oops uppercase lowercase does not matter but this doesn't look good so tables empty does not have any table so what we are going to do so the first thing to create a database you simply type create and then the database oops not table database and then the name of the database so in my case i already have created demo db so you simply go ahead and type if you have not created any database yet go ahead and first create a database then change into it and then follow me so go ahead and create a database create database and then the name of the database demo db1 so now i assume that you already have created a database and you are in the database now let's go ahead and create a table so to create a table you simply type create table and then the name of the table so i'm going to create students okay and then we need to go ahead and define its column okay so so the column is going to be std id the very first one and it's going to be integer as a data type and it's also going to be a primary primary key so that's how you define the very first column of a table then we are going to have std name and this column uh, data type is going to be var character so basically character and you can have up to 240 characters in, in this column and this is not going to have null so you cannot have it null okay 
the next one is going to be std let's say program that you are registered in so std program this is also going to be a var character and you can have up to 240 characters in it and you cannot have it null the last one is std stream so the stream of the program it could be uh, so it's going to be the character type uh, data type var character 100 characters up to 100 characters and you cannot have it null. it could be so i was talking about the stream so stream could be a any lang in any language so english uh, hindi french whatever it is okay so go ahead and just check for the typos so create table students that's going to be the name of the table std id student id integer primary key std name var character and 240 not null std program var character 240 not null std stream var character 100 up to 100 and then not null go ahead and hit enter this is how you create a table so now if you go ahead and uh, say show tables you will have one table if you want to explain the table like you want to see all the columns you simply say explain and then the table names to dents. So this is what you have in the students table. And that's the order, okay? So ID name program stream. These are the orders of the table. Now we will go ahead and insert the values in the columns. Okay, so you simply say in sir into into what students table name and then you can define these fields and then add value to it or if you do not want to define the fields here then you can simply put values which are going to do later on first i'm going to define all the fields name so std id std name std um, program then std stream now we are going to insert values so we'll simply type values and here we have to put the values so that's the integer type name one thing you have to keep in mind whenever you are working with sql using mariadb or mysql keep all the var characters and strings in single quotes okay so it's going to be i'm saying there's going to be name stream is going to be sorry program is going to be let's say you want to have b and then stream let's say it's hindi now i can go ahead and check for the typo and hit enter so you can see one query raw affected query okay row effect one row affected now we can go ahead and add a few more uh, rows in it English and let's say this is oops there's typo so okay so this time if I do not want to include these I can go ahead and get rid of these but if you're not going to add the field names then you have to put everything in column which we are already so here so the other thing you have to keep in mind if you have any primary key you cannot have it like have the duplicate values of it which you can see on the top 
that's uh, an error that we got so I accidentally hit the enter key now that's the second row and insert into students and then straightly values like but make sure it's in order you cannot miss any field in it if you're not defining it before adding the value we're going to add another value another value row so anything just uh, let's say she's doing bca and it's english now this is how you insert values into column like data data rows table rows and then we are going to read from it so to read you simply type select at star and then from so star means like everything all the rows from student table names table name and you get all the rows in the table if you're very specific like student everything like all the fields from students where uh, TID is equal to 2 so you'll get just ID number 2 student ID number 2 so this is how you can read something from the table the other thing is how you can update something let's say you by mistake this had to be in some other language so we're going to update it let's say it's French so simply to update any table row you simply type table sorry update and then the table name which is going to be students and then you say set what so std string whatever you have to and then equal to it says French and then you say where std id equal to 2 okay so it's going to update student stream stream to french where student id is 2 so student table name set where something missed students what did i do you have an error in exclusion check the manual std id where what did i do let's check line number one update to dense set std stream that's also fine Update, update, students, demo db. Oh, you see, update. <laughs> so, you see, typo. Now, I should go. So, uh, that's got updated. Now, let's go ahead and make sure that you have it updated. So, you can see it's been changed to French now the last part of it is kind of deleting a specific row from the table so you simply say delete from and then the table name where id is one two three whatever so you simply say delete oops uh, from to dense where std id equal to two and that got affected so this is how you basically perform all the crud operations in mariadb or mysql using command prompt or terminal irrespective of your operating system now there are a few more commands that you can do you can uh, drop a table so simply type drop and table so you, you will write like this drop table and then the table name so it could be students 
and that got affected so now if you go ahead and check show tables so you can see i'm writing in upper and lower and you don't have any table in it yet now so this is how you do everything so this is how you create a table delete a table and then define a table column columns insert values update delete and read from it so that's all of operations you can perform on a table there are uh, thousands like hundreds of operations you can do but these are very basic ones so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap thank you please like share and subscribe to my channel bye for now